Hello, my name is Lord Lambert and I will be playing as the Ottoman Empire in this Aurora MP. Now, I have very little idea what Aurora is, uh, but I'm sure Zitalia is going to do a fantastic job directing my glorious nation to conquest and, and victory and trade and all that kind of thing. I play quite a lot of Grand Strategy over on my channel, Lord Lambert, uh, so if you would like to see primarily Imperator, but also other strategy games as well, head on over to there on YouTube, and uh, hopefully you'll like what you see. I'm sure there will be a link to my channel and all of the channels of all of the wonderful creators involved in this down in the description below, so go and check that out, and I uh, hope you enjoy this series. Thank you to Zitalia for setting it up. And now that we've got the intro out of the way, let's have a quick look at our starting situation. So, first of all, we have only four colonies. Istanbul, Alexandria, Baghdad, and Jeddah. And, but, they are in very cr nice uh, group. Once we take a look at the galaxy map, you will see what I mean. We're currently expanding our economy because we have a bit of a problem with our economy right now, but it's still fixable. It's just, uh, the maintenance, uh, or maintenance supplies actually take a bit too much of our cash. So we're losing about 130 per month right now. But we can fix that. And we are, of course, building a little bit of troops. We're currently holding off on building ships too much due to the limitation by our current economy. But we are building uh, uh, Shadow Lucifer at first rate, JP at second rate, and Matei, a third rate in Istanbul. I don't think we are actually building... No, we're not building any more ships elsewhere right now. But those are the only ships that we're building. But we do have a decent fleet to start with. Uh, we have uh, three first rates, four second rates, 37 third rates, 54 fourth rates, 31 fifth rates, 27 sixth rates, and 15 uh, seventh rates. So our navy is a bit on the heavy side, actually. Which is not bad, because our goals in the near future... First of all, if we have a quick look at our relations, we are trading with Great Britain. And we are allied with uh, Mughals. But our goal, since we know that uh, Rostov over here is owned by the Russians, or the neutrals, technically speaking, but... Uh, we want to conquer that, we want to wrestle the control of uh, Black Sea for ourselves. So that is what we'll do. We will, of course, also be expanding our navy to whatever degree we can, but right now, fixing our economy is probably more threshing issue. Of course, we do have the 10 uh, fuel harvester base, getting us some rations probably in here. Black Sea A3, because I do believe that is a gas giant, and thus very good for acquiring more rations from. Anyway, so that's uh, that's the basic idea. Let's have a quick look at the galaxy map then. So our colonies are right here, and they're connected with uh, well jump points over there throughout. And of course, uh, we already have some of our shipping lines uh, going between the places, uh, ferrying settlers and uh, trade goods back and forth. So that's going to help fixing our economy a little bit. And I'm sure that the uh, shipping line over here will make a nice profit and expand their activities a fair bit in the very near future. Which is going to be, again, very good for our fleet, or our economy rather, not the fleet. Well, also the fleet, but not primarily that. But anyway, so our focus will be, we will of course uh, explore a little bit of our surroundings, but our focus will be north to Rostov and then who knows, maybe we'll go to Russia, or maybe we'll wrestle control of uh, at least the Eastern Mediterranean, because there's also some uh, neutral ports over there, including Venice and Trieste, which are probably not going to be the easiest places to conquer, but I'm sure that we can manage that sooner or later. So right now we'll expand our army a little bit, and then we'll go in with our fleet destroy any coastal defenses in Trosso and then land in our troops there and start uh, fighting for the port. And in terms of research, before I forget, we are currently researching quite a few things. 
getting uh, a bit better uh, wealth generation because we need it, we really do need it. Then uh, a bit better optics or spy glasses for our ships with thermal sensor sensitivity. Then better maintenance, bigger guns and uh, better armor. And uh, also we're getting long range bombardment weapons which is going to help us a little bit in any sieges that we might face around here. Because we have uh, plenty of options in conquering still. Of course, again, might not be extremely easy, but that is probably what we'll be focusing a little bit on. But yeah, uh, that is probably pretty much it for right now, but I will be back in just a few moments. Wait, where's the video? No, don't panic. Unfortunately the year ended up being fairly mundane for us, so we'll be skipping to the end of the year, but fear not, there will be more content in the upcoming videos. And that's the end of the year, so let's uh, take a glance at what's going on in our nation. So first of all, in terms of shipbuilding, we're still building uh, the three named ships here. Which should be done sometime next year, but we've had a bit of a problem with our economy throughout the year. Economic production modifiers only 65%. Of course, it's getting a little bit better over time, but there's still some work that needs to be done. So, in terms of shipbuilding, and actually, are we building? No, I don't think we're building any other ships right now. So, in terms of research, uh, we're currently researching the thicker armor in Alexandria. In Istanbul, we are researching uh, the better wealth generation, uh, which should help us a lot actually at this point. And maintenance uh, facilities, bigger cannons, and then uh, better optics. And then in Baghdad, we are researching long range bombardment weapons, which once we get, we should be able to then break down enemy resistance quite easily. And we'll probably, once we have that, and once we fix our economy a little bit, we'll start planning on invading Rostov over here, which is, we do know that it is occupied. So we'll go in there and uh, make sure to teach them a lesson. I mean, we want to take over all of uh, Black Sea anyway. But yeah, uh, we've been expanding our fishing fleet here at the Black Sea quite nicely. I think we might actually have some in other places as well, although it doesn't look like it, so no, we haven't actually been building more fishing fleets elsewhere, but we probably should do that as soon as we can. And uh, in terms of uh, minerals, well actually since we're over here, let's have a quick look at the shipping line. So there's uh, one line that has one colony ship and three traitors, and it's training a fair bit. Of course the distances are a bit long. And then there's another one that has one colony ship, it hasn't actually delivered anything yet, but it... Uh, I think it was founded on like end of uh, this year, or near the end of this year, so it hasn't had time to do it yet. I'm sure that it will eventually. Right, so let's have a look at the mineral production a little bit. So we are producing the least of food, but even that we are producing a decent bit, so that should be fine. Of course, uh, we do have trade deals with the Mughals and the British, so that's going to give us about... 7,800 in uh, wealth, which is going to remove a fair bit of our wealth or debt right now and hopefully we can fix our economy in the upcoming year. We are building a fair bit of uh, things that will give us more tax and so forth, so that should be alright, but we'll see. Uh, we don't have any civilian mining colonies right now, which is a bit of a shame, but on the other hand, if they would be producing minerals that we need, we would have to pay for the minerals, so it's a uh, double -edged sword. Now, in terms of a particular fleet movement, we haven't actually been doing all that much, if I'm all honest. We've mostly been staying in our own areas. We might, or we'll probably have to start training our fleet a little bit next uh, year, just to make sure that they are up to date, or uh, at least have well-trained crews. And then we, of course, once we get some of the upgrades for our ships, we'll start uh, refitting them, and hopefully they'll be good. Of course, we will try to design new ships as well, as soon as we can. But right now, I don't think we've actually researched the gunpowder storage, have we? No, we haven't, so that is kind of uh, blocking our progress path to getting uh, better sales. 
and thus better speed. But I'm sure that we'll get there eventually, we just haven't had the correct researcher to be fair. And not really good options to convert either. So yeah, could be better, could be worse. But anyway, I think that's about it for this episode. So make sure to check out Lambert's channel, link is down below in the description, and we'll see you next week.